everyone. I'm Abhishek Mahajan with the new episode of Exchange Thoughts. I have an interesting guest with me, India's Chinaman bowler, Kuldeep Yadav. Welcome, Kuldeep. Uh, good to have you on Doordarshan. First of all, uh, Kuldeep, uh, how have you been doing? Uh, the entire nation was under lockdown and the cricketers are not uh, used to uh, getting cooped up at home for so long. Thank you, Abhishek Bhai, for having me here. And uh, firstly, uh, lockdown was a bit difficult for me, you know, when it comes for, uh, when it comes for skill session, you know, skill uh, work. Hmm. But uh, to be to be very honest, uh, it was a great time for me to uh, to have with my family and do a lot of uh, other activities as well. So after, once the uh, once the uh, fourth lockdown. Uh, gets over. Uh, I started uh, training early morning, then the evening. So it was uh, initially it was very difficult. Uh, yeah. First two days, first two three days, because uh, your body is not uh, moving properly, not flexible enough to yeah. to to move around. So after that, three, after three four three four days, uh, it it actually uh, uh, get into the groom. So it will take another mm. like. Uh, uh, one more, one more week uh, to to be back in the rhythm. Mm. Uh, right. And Kuldeep, have you uh, started practicing now? I was reading it somewhere that you were practicing on your terrace. Uh, since the curbs have uh, eased a bit now, uh, have you started uh, bowling now? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. During the, during during the uh, the time of lockdown, I was uh, I was uh, I was training at home only. You know, just mm. doing some. Uh, uh, shadow work, bowling shadow work okay. uh, on the terrace. Uh, once the uh, after the after the lockdown, uh, I was working on my bowling as well. You know, it it will. Uh, I think it will take another uh, one 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 week or ten days uh, to be back in uh, in the rhythm. Mm, okay. So have you started going to the grounds also on the field yes. because uh, that is the best place uh, for a cricketer or for any other sports person? Yes, yes, yes. It's been it's been like seven days. Okay. And uh, so I'm I'm going early morning and the evening around 4 4:30 to mm. 7. So yeah, I'm doing uh, I'm following the same routine which I before the before this pandemic uh, uh, this pandemic uh, happened. You know, so so mm. so, so going going to the going on the ground and uh, doing some running and uh, moving around uh, feels really good. Mm. But Kuldeep, uh, tell me frankly, is it frustrating? Uh, I know you are saying that you had a great time. Uh, uh, it was like a blessing in disguise because uh, uh, you guys are not used to uh, staying at home for so long. But is it frustrating uh, to be at home for such a long time because you will again uh, have to work very, very hard uh, to regain the fitness? Uh it is, you know, uh, if you if you say, uh, I I guess I feel uh, I feel that uh, uh, if you're playing uh, a lot of cricket over the year and uh, and you need a break, probably like two three months, you know. So this this was hmm. a, actually a blessing for us, and uh, and if you see uh, uh, around ourselves, you know, you will find you will find uh, people are struggling uh, for for good life, you know. And uh, mm. uh, we are we are actually blessed. To, we got a very good life, and uh, I'm actually very happy with it. You know, it's it's mm. nothing against uh, any uh, frustra frustration or depression. Uh, mm. I really feel that uh, we got a very good life. Yeah. And, and I, I just enjoyed. I I just enjoyed two three months. You know. Mm. You must have spent time with your uh, parents, your family, uh, I can't say friends, but uh, Kuldeep, uh, you would have been playing IPL at the time when the entire nation was under lockdown. Uh, do you get this, uh, these thoughts that why actually this happened, why this pandemic happened? Uh, it's, a, it's a difficult one, you know, uh, you can't, you, you can't uh, fight against nature, you know, you uh, these things bound to happen, you know. These things will happen in future as well, you know. When people uh, uh, do not care of uh, any other thing, you know, these things will happen, you know. And mm. it's it, it, I, it's uh, it's uh, it's it's not a good question for me to ask, you know. I'm not a I'm not a actually a a knowledge person, you know, to answer this question. But uh, definitely, mm. we we really felt bad for this, you know. And we we as a we as a human being. As a world, as an Indian citizen, we are struggling 
and still we we are in a bad situation mm. and also uh, kuldeep uh, when everything um, uh, becomes normal um, i'm talking about coronavirus there is a talk that ipl might be happened in that october to november window uh, your thoughts on that if everything goes well uh, is it a good window to play ipl in october and november window if the world cup doesn't happen if everything is normal we should hmm. start playing cricket you know and uh, ipl ipl or maybe t20 world cup uh, good uh, good tournament to begin with it so i'm um, hmm. i'm favor with the, both of them so anything happen good for any cricketer you know and a cricketer wants to play cricket and uh, that's yeah, it yeah. so yeah <laughs> right rightly said by you but kuldeep if i ask you what format are you comfortable with playing now after such a big break what will that format be firstly uh, uh, i feel you know it will take uh, 15 to 20 days to uh, to be on the field for proper competitive cricket so uh, you can you can say like uh, i can say easily say like uh, it will take another uh, 15 20 days so once the camp start and uh, ten, after 10 20 days we are uh, we are ready for t20 and then what day and for test cricket it will take another a month you know Uh, mm. to be to be to to play a test match so that's how that's how the schedule is and uh, we're playing a test series in australia around about december so it it, it gives a lot of time so mm. uh, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's how that's how i feel and uh, initially we should we should start with t20 i guess mm. okay you are saying you are you uh, need only 10 to 15 days to get back into the groove and t20 would be the right format format to be to start off with but uh, Kuldeep, uh, during these times, um, uh, did you speak to anyone, uh, any one of your uh, colleague? Uh, 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 during these times, I've seen people. I've seen Virat Kohli also, uh, Rohit Bhai also. They have been uh, doing Instagram. Your friend uh, Yuzi Chahal also. Uh, did you speak to anyone on the phone? Yes, of course. Uh, we we have been touched with everyone. You know, we as oh. a group, uh, uh, the Indian group, uh, the support staff, everyone, trainer, physio. uh i spoke to virat bhai and uh, everyone you know uh, i'm in touch with all all the senior player so mm. and coach and uh, ravi bhai as well so they they just uh, they just uh, telling you the right uh, way to follow follow this lockdown and uh, I, and it also gives you a lot of motivation to 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 work and, and to follow what what they are saying and uh, mm. uh, everyone is touch uh, everyone uh, we are t- uh, we we, we me uh, we me chahal or rohit mm. bhai everyone is uh, in a group and uh, we are we are saying a lot of uh, lockdown experience as well so so it's not like we are not talking to each other but we are we are in a group and we uh, we are talking uh, to each other it means like you're saying in, in, in you're two, saying 3 that- 4 days you're saying that uh, your colleagues have been sharing what they have been doing under the lockdown yeah yeah definitely. you want to, you want yeah. to share you want to share what they have been doing what chahal is doing is something really different from other person i guess <laughs> and uh, he he went to bed at 7 o'clock in the morning and uh, and wake up at 2 o'clock so that's how his schedule is rohit bhai is following a, a tight, tight schedule you know he's uh, he's uh, he, he, yeah. he's uh, going bed early and i wake up early in the morning like 8 9 so so yeah that's that's really good everyone mm. is uh, uh, time schedule is very different and uh, Bef- due to the lockdown uh, you know is there is nothing to do you know there is not no- nothing skill work to do yeah. so you know, people are, people are kind of bored you know so i so that's how they are yeah kuldeep as you rightly said by you that it's in your hand to stay positive or uh, uh, go towards the negativity side and uh, sometimes uh, there are situations when you don't have control over anything so that is the right way i think you said that uh, to stay positive but kuldeep now the big burning question is how to stop uh, using saliva on the ball uh, i have seen you uh, you also have the habit of using i think uh, almost every cricketer uh, 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 has the habit of uh, using saliva or sweat on the ball uh, but now it has been officially banned by the icc to use your spit to your uh, use your saliva on the ball how will you come out of this habit so but to be very honest to be very honest it will take time you know mm. uh, this is uh, this is a childhood habit you know when once you start playing cricket 
and uh, you always put saliva on the ball uh, to shine the ball and uh, mm. and, and uh, for to adjust uh, uh, with saliva to adjust this with the sweat i guess it will take time and uh, and uh, i i really feel it will take uh, it's it will, will it will be very challenging for any any bowler you know to uh, as it, uh, as it come to fast bowler spinner it will take time and uh, it is very challenging and uh, i think uh, maybe they 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 will find uh, find some other solution as well so yeah uh, we can we can uh, we can uh, use the sweat as well you know uh, there's no there's nothing uh, wrong with sweat i guess uh, yeah they, yeah so no, but Rathib, how uh, difficult yeah how difficult will it be uh, to not use saliva and sweat uh, to shine the ball to maintain the ball i should say uh it will be very difficult for bowler you know uh, uh-huh. i guess uh, it will be very easy for the batsman you know if if the ball is not shined and if the ball is not moving then it will be very it will be very ordinary bowler you know if you see any yeah. bowler it looks very ordinary and uh, and the circumstances uh, might be changed you know so maybe they will uh, they will come with alternative alternate decision on it on this mm. and uh, yeah but i really feel that uh, this will be very challenging for any bowler yeah and also kuldeep let me tell you it is an interim decision also it's not a permanent decision and uh, let me share what icc is saying now if a player does apply saliva to the ball the umpires will manage the situation with some leniency uh during an initial period of adjustment for the players but subsequent instances will result in the team receiving a warning this is interesting and a team can be issued up to two warnings per innings but repeated use of saliva on the ball will result in a five run penalty to the batting side and also when saliva is applied to the ball the umpires will be instructed to clean the ball before play recommences i don't know uh with what they'll clean the ball but this is the rule they have come out with but uh kuldeep it has also been decided to allow teams to have replacements for players showing covid 19 19 symptoms in test matches but not in odis and also not in uh, 2020 cricket your reaction on this i think uh, it's not a bad decision to to be hmm. very honest you know yeah uh especially in test matches yeah especially in test matches as you can see the situation is is bad really bad you know mm, if you see yeah. in in india and uh, some other country in england or in the europe country so mm. so i think this is not a permanently decision uh, this yeah, is yeah. not a permanent decision but yeah. we'll take uh, let's uh, let's just take uh, for another series i guess uh, uh, australia and uh, sorry england versus west indies yeah, yeah. they they will uh, they will apply this uh, rule yeah and they will be playing uh, without any crowds yeah so it will be very difficult you know very challenging and, uh, also yeah, yeah it's very it will be very challenging and uh, at least uh, we got enough time for you no know, if you get, uh, i mean uh, as a, as a cricketer if hmm. i if i'm tra- i i've started training so I, i'll uh, now i i probably know everything about uh, the rules icc rules so probably from uh, today only i'll no, i'll try to avoid uh, saliva on the ball so yeah yeah. Uh, yeah so that's 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 a uh, good news for any cricketer but yeah, yeah actually we are we are actually playing a, a series in australia so mm. and before that uh, there is uh, i don't know if there is any cricket uh, yeah so we got uh, ample of time to you know to solve this problem actually kuldeep you have to abide uh, by the rules and there is no other alternative but uh, uh, unsuccessful reviews let me also tell you unsuccessful reviews have also been increased this has been announced by the icc but kuldeep uh, if we go back a little uh, uh, in if you go back in 2017 uh, when you entered international cricket uh, you replaced biggest indian spinners you know who i'm talking about but along with chehal you bowled superbly uh, and there was no looking back but uh, off late batsmen uh, have started picking you what is the reason i really feel that uh, uh... if you if you play a lot of cricket you know you mm. tend to lose your basics you tend to lose your basics right you know that's how i feel and uh, and uh, it's not like a batsman is reading you but uh, 
it's like you are you you actually losing your basics right you know you're not giving oh. proper flight you're not turning the ball and you're not deceiving the batsman that's how i feel and uh, i don't see like uh, any batsman is picking me it's, it's just not like that you know uh, in 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 this in this world of technology and uh, mm. everyone is watching you uh, closely and uh, yeah, they are also doing good study yeah, on you yeah uh, so mm. so so they got your videos and yeah. and also they are working on it so uh, mm. and uh, i feel i really feel that uh, i just lost my rhythm you know i just lost uh, i just lost uh, in couple of series i just lost my rhythm and mm. it's not like that i am i'm actually bowling badly but i i'm really i'm bowling well Mm. Okay, Kuldeep, you are saying that uh, you got ample uh, amount of time. Uh, what I understand is in the last two three months. Uh, tell us about your mindset. I mean, are you also uh, thinking to come out with new variations in your bowling? Yes. Uh, uh, to be very honest, uh, in in these two months, uh, I actually follow uh, follow fo- follow uh, what I have done in last year. okay uh, and uh, i watch uh, every videos of my polling oh, okay and uh, and i also come with uh, some great thoughts and great planning as well and now uh, hmm. uh, and also uh, i plan uh, i plan a new delivery as well so so maybe maybe uh, uh, in the future in future i'll try to bowl in the first mm. series i guess which i we we play so so play. when do we see that new delivery if ipl comes first we'll see that there or if yeah. australian series comes first uh, that is 6 months away i know but you will see that delivery uh, the new yeah, delivery yeah. i should say uh, in that series right the new delivery yes but uh, kuldeep you mentioned about mahi bhai uh, do you miss ms dhoni in the team because i know you are uh, very close to him and uh, most of the times he used to tell you where to ball and how to ball to which batsman uh, uh, do you actually miss him in the field to be very honest i'm a big fan of my bhai and i really want him to play for india again and uh, yeah of course we miss him and everyone miss him so hmm. as a, as a fan as a cricketer uh, i do miss him and uh, i want him to play again so so it will be very easy for me to to know just keep bowling and uh, he he is the one who just keep telling me where to bowl so <laughs> it will uh, it it gives you a lot of confidence and it becomes very easy you know uh, to read any batsman hmm you are saying that you are a big fan of my bhai ms dhoni uh, what is the best thing best part you like about him uh the best part about him is uh, he never talk uh, about uh, your bowling off the field he just talk Uh, talk on the ground you know he just tell you okay. on the ground what to do and uh, that's that's very good quality about him you know uh, he just tell you uh, on the spot to what to do and what not to do so the best mm. thing about him mm. but off the field when you are eating uh, together if you ask him about your bowling uh, does he not give any answer no he he, he actually gives you answer but uh, uh, Mm. Uh, but of the field is like a very kind of mazakia person you know he's not he's not he's not uh, that serious one you know mm. uh, he always uh, he always pull uh, try to pull my <laughs> leg you know is always uh, so 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 it's it's uh, it feel very uh, it it feel very happy you know it uh, it gives me a lot of confidence as well you know when when some someone likes uh, my boy talking to you and uh, cracking joke you no know? so uh, i really feel like uh, they are very close to everyone yeah. uh, have you been speaking with him uh, lately because uh, i know what i've heard is that it's very difficult to speak to him over the phone yeah you know i actually don't use phone much you know my way uh, is like uh, he only he's only active on pubg now so <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long i haven't spoken to him but uh, maybe hopefully uh, very soon uh. Also, Kuldeep, uh, share with us uh, your bond with Indian captain Virat Kohli. Is he the uh, same aggressive man uh, off the field also, in the dressing room also? No, no, no. Definitely not. He is very, very, very funny guy, mm. and uh, <laughs> and we really enjoy him. And uh, as a as a as a human being, he is he's such an amazing guy. You know, as a leader, he just uh, put it put his hands up and uh, perform mm. for the team and. Uh, and we we as a youngster as a senior player we just follow him and uh, 
the kind of fitness level he he he, he gave he to indian yeah. team mm. uh, it's really amazing you know and uh, and he actually understand the bowler uh, bowlers very well you know uh, and uh, he gives you a lot of lot of freedom and mm. uh, and gives you a lot of belief uh, in you and mm. uh, to express your talent you know uh, and i'm really big fan of uh, virat bhai and uh, and uh, very very happy the way he's leading the indian team and mm. uh, and uh, as a, as a youngster as the as a whole team support staff we just follow him and uh, that's that's a really good uh, really good thing about any any sports team you know uh, mm. we just follow what, what the captain wants us to do and mm. uh, he's the right person to lead indian team and yeah. and uh, to be very honest he is very passionate about mm. uh, about any sports he, which yeah. he plays you know when, mm. uh, when it comes for soccer or maybe some other game as well he he just wants, he wants to win, to win, win all game. the time yeah that that's a good uh, that's a really good quality about uh, that's a really good habit and uh, yeah I, i have learned a lot from him you know mm. as as a man as a human being he mm. and maybe in, uh, maybe in future I'll I'll keep learning uh, what he is doing in in his life and probably mm. make a change in in my life as well. Mm. Kuldeep, who do you admire most in the current team, and uh, who does the pep talk in the dressing room before the match? Admire the most, I I would say Virat Kohli is okay. Virat Kohli, Rohit Sharma. We got two uh, two senior players in our team, and yeah. they both are really really amazing player and. Uh, the one guy who is very active on uh, other activities is uh, i mean uh, it's not like other activity but he is very funny guy shikhar dhawan uh, he is very <laughs> very close to me and uh, you call him gabbar no no i just call him paji uh. so he is very close to me and he is the one who makes the uh, the team very comfortable hmm and kuldeep now some funny part how did the friendship between kulcha started you and uzi chahal and who gave you this name uh to be very honest i don't know who g- g- gave this name but uh, it's been a long you know when we when when i was part of mumbai indians hmm. uh, then i i met first time and hmm. uh, from there onwards uh, we play some domestic cricket as well together and uh, he's he's like a elder brother to me and share uh, share some good knowledge as well you know taking care take taking care of me as well so so that's how all the bond comes from is he also the most funniest guy in the team apart from you yes yes definitely yes <laughs> and also uh, kuldeep uh, i was reading it somewhere yesterday i think uh, ian chapel um, australian great he believes that you are the biggest threat on australian pitches uh, and india is scheduled to play australia in december this year does this give you confidence before any big tour although the tour is 6 months away uh, i don't get confidence from uh, speaking some uh, good about mm-hmm. you you know and and if you're doing really well in uh, other condition and uh, that gives you a lot of confidence yeah. you know when i when, when i played in sydney test match i got 5 that gives me a lot of confidence you know that gives me a lot of yeah. confidence mm. and uh, and uh, i played in australia performed really well there so that gives me a lot of confidence if someone is uh, speaking good about you it's also good you know it's very it's good to listen you know it gives Absolutely. you okay okay if it gives you like they are thinking about you you know yeah. so you have to be on toes every time and uh, if australian captain the the former australian captain is saying and it 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 says it it says that they are thinking about you and uh, you have to ahead of what they are thinking about you and you have Absolutely. to be on toes every time and mm. uh, yes of course uh, when once the uh, once the test series start and uh, I'll, i'll be i'll be in a perfect position to play and uh, if i get a chance uh, i'll try to do my best mm. and kuldeep what has been your uh, best moment so far in international cricket hat tricks uh, you took in odis or uh, maybe your debut uh, i would i would choose uh, my first wicket uh, okay the best memory you know and uh, two hat tricks were very special 
and mm-hmm. yes but i put my test test debut is 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 something which is very very memorable for me mm. absolutely and let me tell you uh, kuldeep yadav he is the only indian who has claimed a hat trick twice in odis but kuldeep yeah. you have been playing international cricket for quite some time now six tests 60 odis and 21 t20s for india so far what's your ultimate aim now uh i don't believe in a uh, long term goal so okay. when i when i was when i was a kid uh i got a very i set a very small goal you know to play to play for district level to play to make a to make a uh to make a our our place in uh, to make a playing 11 to make mm. it a playing 11 then mm. uh, play, to play for state level that perform there but uh, as of now uh my ultimate goal is to achieve the big goal is to achieve 400 test wicket and mm. that's a big one wow. but uh, but to be very honest uh, i'm just thinking about the next series as well uh, nothing much mm. nothing much, nothing extra but thinking about the next series i have to bowl really well mm. i remember kuldeep rahul dravid used to say this we should go step by step rather than taking uh, bigger steps rather than taking long term goals Uh, but uh, last question, Kuldeep, uh, which format, uh, T20s, ODI, Test matches, you enjoy the most? No, any format is. Uh, if you're playing any format uh, for mm. India, for our nation, is uh, is uh, very difficult. And uh, and uh, if I, as a cricketer, I really want to play all the formats. You know, as I I would uh, I would really want. But what really... will be what will be on top? no it's not like that you you can't you, you can't uh, put uh, one thing ahead of cricket you know just uh, i want uh, i want i really wanted to play all the format mm. but uh, but uh, for every every cricketer wants to play test cricket no mm. okay kuldeep uh, thanks for these answers in depth interview and we hope you get on uh, to the field soon uh, in indian colors because uh, you look the best there Thank you so much. Uh, that's all we have on Exchange Thoughts. But stay tuned for more news and updates. Namaskar.